Welcome to a special edition of Yachting Unplugged. We are bringing you the latest in the industry news. My name is Kim Swears, the boat boss, and I'm here with Brandon Fairman from? Uh, from Navico Group. Navico Group, with Brunswick. Well, we are here at 15th Street Fisheries, which is one of the most popular restaurants here in Fort Lauderdale. And like public speaking and death, I think docking <laughs> really is a big fear for a lot of boaters. Absolutely. Yeah, Kim, thanks for coming on board. We're excited to show you today our Simrad Auto Captain system. And it goes after just that. It, it gives takes some of those more stressful things for boaters. It makes them easier, trying to lower those barriers to entry something that I think experienced and new voters would appreciate. Couldn't agree more. Well, let's take a little bit of a uh, step back in, in memory lane and talk about how Brunswick got to this point. So in mm -hmm. 2019, it was at the CES conference in Vegas, I think it was. I think so. Yeah. Where you rolled out your new strategy, the ACES strategy. What is that ACES stamp? Sure, so ACES was autonomous, connected, electrified and shared access. Um, we've done product releases over these last few years in the C and the E and the S, and now we've come around and finish it up with the A. So. I know, I was say the, the A for the boss or So in 2021, you purchased Navico, mm -hmm. and that's when you came on. Yes. And you got to work. Right away, yeah. So I came from the auto industry where I worked on these driver assistance systems for about a decade. And uh, having joined Brunswick, learned about ACEs, uh, saw the interest in bringing some autonomy into boating, um, we, we formed up this first project and had it approved in June of 2022. And here we are at Port Lauderdale, selling it for the first time, ready to take that first order on a Boston Whaler with the system. Well, I cannot wait to show you what you're about to see is a game changer. As Brandon said, it is the gateway to boating and it breaks down the barriers for anyone, whether you're experienced or not. This is a episode you do not want to miss, so stay tuned. We are on the water now and we have Jason at the helm. We are going to demo the actual system now. So tell me about how you and Jason have worked together on this project. Yeah, so we, we led it um, on the program and technical side through all the different phases. We have a very um, well-defined phase gate process to doing projects at Brunswick. Uh, moving all the way through initial concept to a design and validating that and then finally to a production design that we validate and, and bring to commercialization. So we're finally there. This project had a lot of steps along the way, and I'd say one of the biggest ones is when you create autonomy algorithms, you need to train them, right? So you have to teach it that a cement dock and a wooden dock and a metal dock are all docks that you can still use, or, or green water and black water and blue water are all still water. And so that was, uh, we were able to use another aspect of Brunswick Freedom Boat Club. We traveled around, recorded data at unique locations to come back with that data and train the algorithm with well over 100,000 images of label data. Incredible. So. so Jason is actually at the helm, as you can see, um, talking to the audience right now. They're looking at Jason. You still need to have a driver at the helm. You do, yeah. So, you know, we're, we're trying, crossing uh, the channel right now. This is a driving time. When we get to the slip and we do activate the auto captain system, it is meant for our, a captain to be at the helm. It has a safety built into it, right? So while the system's operating, if Jason were to interact with the steering wheel or the throttles or the joystick, it will immediately put the system into standby and the captain's back in full control. So we're getting the system activated. And in the meantime, there's a noise that it makes. It's a really cool noise as the system's actually been. Oh yeah. So yeah, I think it, as it comes to the, the closing approach, basically the last few meters, you'll have a very nice chime running. That's kind of alerting you that, hey, I'm making my final approach. Um, and it'll run until it touches that dock and holds it. That chime is also another reminder as long as well as some LED indicators here that will be read by the transom door that when it touches the dock and it's holding it there, your mind's already shifting to, I gotta tie the boat up, right? And so it's a reminder, the boat's gonna stay there. We do have some propellers churning. Let's, you know, be mindful. 
Um, but uh, get moving. If I go, let's get it tied off, and then we can shut this. Get system the guests down. ready. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. yeah, get them off the door. <laughs> That's right. So the cameras. The cameras, instead of being actually inside the hole, they're on the T-top. I love that solution. Yeah. And what what sets you apart by doing that? Yeah, so we use stereo cameras, which means there's two lenses like your eyes, and that's how we can perceive how far away objects are around the boat. Um, we are focused very, very precisely on a small perimeter, about 50 meters around this boat, to see things very accurately where they are. Um, this allows you to handle any sort of boat movements and things like that. Um, and it's, it allows that real-time mapping as you move along. It's so fog, light, like if it's like... It's Correct, yeah. So yeah, high vision. That's right. It, it can it, it runs pretty well at night. Honestly, it's if you've taken a photo like with your phone before at night. Yeah, it can it, take in more light than your eyes can. So you have a lot of uh, use still at night. Uh, usually, marinas have enough light on the docks. Or if you had a spotlight on the boat, that would be enough to get you into the dock. Um, certainly, if you have a very dense fog, a very blackout condition, if the cameras can't see, it won't function. But it will give you that alert that it's unavailable. So. Well, here we go, folks. We're actually getting the boat dialed in and we're gonna show you the system. So here we go.